So does all of this mean that individuals who are in the country illegally can't be deported as long as they're in Seattle? Uh, no, <laughs> definitely not. Um, so first, it's important to understand that the simple fact of e being undocumented um, under the immigration law means you're subject to being placed in deportation proceedings, um, and that many Seattle residents are already actively facing deportation proceedings just about a mile away from here in the immigration court here in Seattle. Um, so the question is for those, of, uh, those folks in Seattle who have not yet come to the attention of immigration authorities, even living in a city like Seattle with protections for immigrants may not be sufficient from them to, uh, to stop from being in deportation proceedings or stop from ending up in deportation proceedings. The Trump administration has very clear deportation goals that were laid out in one of last week's executive orders. Um, the priority for deportation is uh, purportedly quote unquote criminals but the executive order defines this category so broadly that at least in my opinion, pretty much all of the 11 million or so undocumented people in the US are now a priority for deportation. So in a sense, there are no priorities because everyone is now a priority. So the question then becomes, how will undocumented people end up facing deportation? Um, I see the executive orders of this past week as a signal to immigration officers on the grounds that pretty much any tactics they want to pursue are now fair game. Um, and so this new executive order saying that every doc undocumented person is a priority for deportation means that we're likely to see a broadening of immigration enforcement practices, uh, some of which had already been abandoned. So for example, the workplace raids uh, that the Obama administration had basically stopped are likely to return. Um, and we'll see a ramping up of raids that have been ongoing throughout the Obama administration. So raids on people's homes and neighborhoods are likely to ramp up. Um, and there may be limited things that city officials uh, can do to stop ICE officers from going to people's homes um, or to their workplaces. Um, but again, despite or maybe because of that, state and local governments will continue to be incredibly important if they wish to be a line of defense for immigrants.